beat Mark Bolger and the Rams by 17 on this field in week two of the regular season. That's a fact. So is this. Falcons are the number one rushing team in the NFL. First quarter. First Atlanta possession. Third and two. And it looks like Vic is soup. Instead, he's driving the Rams nuts. Goes 47 yards, the longest run in Falcons playoff history. Remember, he ran for 109 yards last time these two played. Rams needed to stop Vic from running and stop Vic from throwing to Algie Crumpler. Well, thus far, they're failing on both counts. It's 7 0, three minutes into the game. Rams opening drive. Isaac Bruce out with a groin injury, so Mark Bolger looks at the roster and finds Kevin Curtis. Five play, 81 yard drive, and 246. First, first quarter touchdown allowed at home by the Falcons this season at 7-7. Next time, Falcons got the ball. They got in the end zone in four plays. Took 82 seconds. Warwick Duck ran for over 1,000 yards this season. Goes for 62. That beats beat Vic's team record that we just showed you. It's 14-7 Atlanta. Second quarter. Vic can run. Dunn can run. And T.J. Duckett can tuck it and run. Fourth and inches. First down. 13th play of the drive, Dunn follows his fullback, Fred McCrary. And if it was touch football, he'd score. 21-7, Falcons. Rams respond. Mark Bolger, double pump. Boom, boom. Finds Torrey Holt behind the defense, 28 yards, 21-14. Bolger, 11 for 17, 190 yards in the first half, just before half. Special teams dandy for the Falcons. Allen Ross and fielded, faked like he may throw it to his wingman, and then he throws it into fifth gear. Rams special teams near the bottom in the league. It shows first punt return touchdown in Falcons postseason history, 68 yards, 28-17 at the half, 540 yards of offense in the first half. Check out these records. Falcons breaking all sorts of records in the first half, including 239 yards rushing, done 126 yards on eight carries. Third quarter, Rams go three and out. Atlanta then goes for the knockout. Rossum with another huge punt return. Rossum tallied 152 yards in punt return yardage. That's an NFL postseason record. Vic finishes what Rossum started with a touchdown pass to Peerless Price. It's 35-17. So what did Mark Bolger have in his bag to get the Rams back into it? Well, he didn't have enough. That's what. Jason Webster with the interception. Bolger was also sacked four times. This time. It's Keith Brookie gets the sack and the forced fumble. Travis Hall recovers. And the more injury to the already insulted Bolger. Sack for a safety by Brady Smith. Marshall Falk and the Rams unable to recapture the magic of Super Bowl 34. Vic and the Falcons magical. 47-17 is your final. You know, the Falcons and Rams combined for three offensive touchdowns in the first seven minutes of this game. That's one more offensive touchdown than the Steelers and Jets managed in the entire 71 minutes of their game. Jim Mora's daddy was 0-6 in his playoff career. Jim Mora Jr. wins his playoff debut. I saw a team that plays well together, a team that's pretty complete. Uh, you know, we've said it all along that we feel in our locker room that our best player on our team is our team, and I think that that was... Uh, probably proved out tonight in the way we played. We still have one game to play, and which is the most important game, which is the next game. And, and uh, you know, having that opportunity, you know, it's just a blessing. So, you know, we got to seize the moment, take advantage of it. And, and uh, regardless of who we play, whether it's Minnesota or if it's Philadelphia, we got to come out with a win. Atlanta either goes to Philadelphia or hosts Minnesota. Now, Saturday's game was quite similar to the Falcons' first meeting with the Rams back in Week 2. Vic went for 109 in that one. Atlanta accumulated 212 more yards on the ground than St. Louis. Here's the only good news.